the Malaysian states of Sabah and Sarawak are now well equipped for visitors, boasting wildlife sanctuaries, world-class dive resorts and mountain treks. But to get truly lost in this remote island, it's worth heading into Indonesian Kalimantan whose jungles must be navigated by river. Its landscapes and people remain largely unchanged by tourism, and is the home of most of the island's remaining orangutans. Responsible Borneo holidays here could play an essential part in securing their future. Where to go on holiday in Borneo? Most travelers make a beeline straight for Malaysian Borneo. Orangutans live in the northern jungles of Sabah, where you can spend your pennies on sanctuaries instead of the palm oil industry leveling their rainforests. Mount Kinabalu is a peak for serious hikers. Wanderers can follow the pristine nature trails at its foot. Sarawak, the largest state in Borneo, rolls together some of the world's most diverse and ancient rainforests in its 30 national parks. Kalimantan sits over the border in Indonesian Borneo. Despite taking up most of the island, its longboat markets, jungle treks and orangutan sanctuaries haven't yet hit the well-trod tourist trail. Things to do in Borneo Get on the water Tours along Sabah's Kinabatangan River allow you to cruise through a forest filled with monkeys, elephants, hornbills and orangutans, kick back and watch it all float by. In Kalimantan, wooden clodocks, named after the sound they make, provide floating accommodation, with mattresses and mosquito nets on deck, allowing you to get deeper into the national parks. Watch orangutans. Nothing compares to witnessing these shaggy primates in the wild, however, so come prepared for forest treks or river cruises in Sabah and Indonesia to glimpse them in their natural habitat. Sightings are rarer, but this only emphasizes the precarious position they find themselves in. A good guide will not only allow you to spot a whole menagerie of other wildlife, but also help you understand the forest ecosystem and the importance of protecting this precious, dwindling environment. The great Sir David Attenborough once said, I strongly believe that Borneo is one of the most unique and biodiverse places on this planet, and that the world's remaining wild spaces provide more than ecological services and opportunities for economic development. They also provide deep spiritual nourishment for ourselves and future generations of Sabahans and visitors alike, as well as famously being home to the endangered orangutan. It is a natural habitat for the Borneo elephant, monkeys, Bornean clouded leopard and so many more. Moving out to the littoral layers, Borneo's coast proffers peat swamp forests and mangroves, where birds really do rule the roost. Thankfully, many of the wildlife-rich areas are still undeveloped when it comes to tourism, and herein lies a fine line. Responsible wildlife holidays will guide you through these delicate habitats but also support conservation organizations that work tirelessly with local communities to protect them from development and exploitation. Best time to go. A true tropical island, Borneo hovers between 20 to 32 degrees Celsius year-round with frequent rains replenishing its green jungles. Those here to hike, bike or volunteer should be aware that they'll be doing so in a near sauna, although Mount Kinabalu's chilly summit provides some respite. April to September are the driest months, and generally considered the best time to visit Borneo but showers can occur at any time. The island is sheltered from the worst of Southeast Asia's weather, so although monsoons occur, cyclones don't. Summary, Borneo is the third biggest island in the world, but remains a road less traveled. Sarawak and Sabah are well set up for adventurous visitors, including families, while Indonesian Kalimantan is still less explored. Whether you travel on a budget or with a little more luxury, Borneo holidays invariably have one thing in common, and it's orange. Some of the world's last remaining orangutans survive here, and many travelers volunteer with wildlife conservation projects, helping with food prep and habitat restoration. Whatever you end up doing, our Borneo holidays see you exploring the island's diverse culture, staying in locally run accommodations, visiting Ivan villages and using guides drawn from local communities. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. See you next time.